Hey friends, welcome back to Channeling Chinez. If you are new to this channel, this is the platform where we do tarot readings on some of the most visible people in our world, celebrities looking at their love and relationship past and present. The reason why we look at love and relationships through tarot is because love and relationships are our biggest source of soul lessons in our lives. And so when we look at some of the people that we love and admire, uh, we do so in hopes of learning some things about our own self and our own lives that we can apply to our soul lessons. We also do so uh, in hopes of humanizing uh, many of these celebrities who are just people like you and I. And so for this reading um, and for the next reading, I'm going to switch up the way that I'm doing it and do some past and some present reflection for both of these women. Um, in this reading, we are going to be looking at the love and relationships for Nino Dobrev or Dobrev, Dobrov, Dobrev. Uh, Nino, <laughs> Nino. I'm saying Nino because my cat's name is Nino. Um, <laughs> Nina, best known for Vampire Diaries. I first came to know her from Degrassi, um, seen every single season of Degrassi. And so we're going to be looking at her past relationship um, with Ian Shumpert. You know, I don't know how to say these names. Um, and then we're going to look at her current relationship with Sean White. And the reason why I'm doing it this way is because for Nina and for my next video that I'll be doing for Selena Gomez, both of these women have been requested and it seems like they are very loved. And so because so many people are interested in different facets of their relationships, I thought it best for us to look thoroughly um, at the past and the present. So let's get right into it. This reading is for Nina. We're going to start off by looking at her relationship with Ian Shumpert. One card fly out. Leave that off to the side. We'll come back to that. This reading is for Nina. I'm going to try to speak as loud as possible. I know some people have trouble hearing me. I am doing this on my phone. If you wish to support this channel, um, there's information on how you can do so below so we can get some better equipment. All right, so we have the Five of Cups with the king of wands the lovers okay with the nine of discs the seven of cups with the star the queen of cups with the three of discs and the two of discs with the king of cups Wow. And then at the bottom of the car uh at the bottom of the deck we have the strength card in reverse. And so we had one fly out. So what is this bonus? Wow, the six of cubs. Okay. Okay, so actually a lot is coming through on this connection. And, and like immediately, I feel like their soul connection may be like, there may be some like twin flame energy between the two. And, and I'm explaining to you why. Like, it seems very much like a fire and ice relationship or was a fire and ice relationship, a fire and ice push and pull connection that these two had. Um, and what's interesting is over here, this is coming off as Nina's energy as the fire with the King of Wands, even though that's the more masculine energy. And then her partner, Ian, over here is coming off more as um, this watery energy with the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. Uh, we always like to point out when we see a King of Cups and a Queen of Cups come out in a reading um, about a relationship, because it's always a strong indicator of a strong connection between the two. And then we also have the lovers. And so over here, that's coming across to me as Nina's energy. Um, <clears throat> hmm. 
this is this was really like a great love in her life like and I almost want to pull a row of clarifiers because this was almost I feel like this relationship was very life-changing um and I'm curious about the five of cups energy that's coming through and so I actually just want to pull a row of clarifiers before I even start breaking it down Okay, the Queen of Cups. We got two Queens, two Kings out. The Seven of Wands. The Seven of Swords. The Ten of Discs. And the Hanged Man. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. Um, with the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So there were a lot of lessons that both of them had to go through in this connection. And the main purpose of it was personal um deep soul uh cellular healing for the two of them um like they both actually felt like the other one was like their divine counterpart um but they came at the relationship with cross purposes um over on nina's side like i i feel like like a very passionate like firing energy there was something about her there's something about her that's very confident and that even comes off like 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 divine masculine energy almost but there were some insecurities within this relationship there was like doubt that this was the connection and that there wasn't something else out there for her that there wasn't a higher love um with the seven of wands and, and the nine of discs like there was some doubt on her side, thinking that there may be something deeper out there for her. It was almost like there was just like something missing. And it was really, um, it was like a sad, sobering realization because of all of the chemistry that existed. And then on inside of things, it just kind of, like I get the same sense, like he also thought that this was his divine counterpart. Um, And that the two of them would build a lot together as a couple in a relationship and have a family potentially and all those things. But they came to an impasse in their relationship um, because there were things hidden. Like with the Seven of Cups here and the Seven of Swords, that suggests to me that, yeah, like she was, she felt like she just wasn't, there was a lot of uncertainty. Like I don't feel, it's not that I'm not happy, it's just that. Sometimes I feel like I could be happier. Sometimes I could feel like I could be happy in a different situation. Sometimes I wish I just had more choice. Um, I don't know who Ian is, actually. Um, I I know that she's in a relationship with Sean White. I know who Sean White is. <laughs> He's a snowboarder. So I know that much. But I almost get the sense, too, that, like, she still has so much room to grow and he was ready for some things that she was not ready for. And that's what created the discontent in the relationship. It like created some insecurity within the connection and it led to like this hanged man energy where it's like we've come to an impasse. There are just some things that once we look under the surface, we each don't like about each other. We each don't like about what the other one is bringing to the table because it's not what I expect. For her, it's like, this is, I don't know if this is truly what's making me happy. And then on his side, it felt, it feels very much like I've put a lot into this relationship and I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like it's almost like trying to balance career, life, this relationship, and always feeling like there was like a third obstacle or something that was preventing harmony, something that was preventing like perfect synergy. And it ended up just being like a sore spot, a sore lesson for both of them, but that ultimately led to like some deep soul healing. So I'd like to pull some more cards on the soul lessons that were taken away from this connection. Cards are going wayward. 
What were the soul connections taken away from this connection? Or soul lessons, rather. <laughs> Ten of Swords, yeah. It's she, like, yeah. It's like, it, so when I say like things came to an impasse, it was a surprise on both sides that the relationship was going to end. It was like, wow, so like this is really not going to work out. Ooh. With <clears throat> justice in reverse, yeah, because I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied and I just need to acknowledge that fact instead of feeling guilty for feeling that way and that's what mm, and that's what is really well let's pull for him the ace of pentacles i put a lot into this and all the pentacles on his side like it's not that this wasn't an emotional thing for him of course but like there was also just like a lot of 3d expectations with the princess of discs in reverse more more pentacles more discs so yeah okay and then the emperor at the bottom of the deck reclaiming personal authority so on nina's behalf on her side of things again she had to come to that realization that she was unsatisfied in this relationship and this is another reason why it's giving me like twin flame vibes i wonder if there's an age gap between the two because she was not ready for some things that he was ready for. All of these pentacles, he was ready to build. And he had to come to the realization that this is not the relationship he was going to build in. And then regain that personal authority, that personal sense of self. And then she also had to regain that personal authority and that personal sense of self. Um, having gone through this breakup. So now let's look at her relationship now with Sean White. I just feel like it's better to do it this way because like now we can see the contrast together. This reading is for Nina and Sean White. If you enjoy these readings, please don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification button so that you know every time I upload, I upload weekly here on this channel. Ooh, that's so stiff. From Nina and Sean White. Ace of Swords. I'm sure you can see that. With the Victory card, the Six of Wands, the Fool, with the Seven of Discs, Growth, the Five of Swords, Feeling Defeated, with the Hermit, okay, the Devil in Reverse with the Four of Cups, the Queen of Cups in reverse, with the Six of Cups, okay, and the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so now it all makes sense. <laughs> so <clears throat> shared energy in between the two. I'm gonna pull these forward. Both coming into this relationship um, and communicating with each other 
what they had gone through in the past, feeling defeated previously in relationships, going into this place of isolation and deep introspection to f actually find out what each person truly wanted. And so coming into this connection, that was the common energy between the two, which is coming across to me very ben beneficial because it opened the doors for communication. It created like a common ground between the two. And it also um, like leveled the playing field for expectations. And I think, so again, like this energy is coming across <clears throat> strongly as Nina's energy. So much, clar so much more clarity in this relationship than in her previous. Um, feeling validated in this relationship, feeling like I'm on the same page with this person and I actually am excited about going places with them, doing things with them, growing with them, potentially having a family with them in a way that I didn't feel previously in relationships with the Fool and the Seven of Discs and then on the side of Sean White. So I feel like coming into things... There were some bad habits, um, maybe even a little bit of negative energy, um, some things that needed to be purged um, from his life and through meditation, again, like sort of reiterating the hermit vibes that are coming through um, Virgo energy. Um, meditating on what actually mattered what was actually important um and choosing to work through and change toxic behaviors for the first time or for a time in life that where it actually mattered like the outcome not that not that it didn't matter to him at any other point you know i'm not saying that but it's the nature of this connection which we'll look deeper into um, that really made him take a step back and look at some of the things that materially at the soul level he needed to let go of, um, mature through, um, and reevaluate. Because <clears throat> his feelings for Nina are very real. Like, and almost, almost open him up to a side of his femininity that perhaps he wasn't necessarily connected with before. Um, this feels like a soulmate type of romance, but I'd like to pull some more cards if that's okay. <clears throat> On the soul connection between the two and how things are presently. The Nio Discs with the high priestess yeah like this is good this relationship feels good to her in the soul feels good to her on every level she feels like the person that she wants to feel like in a relationship the two of cups with the tower yeah this is a soulmate connection this is a soulmate connection between the two of them um, that that is meant that was meant to happen to to change their lives. And this is coming through on her energy because this was a major upheaval for her, like just sort of almost like being like swept off your feet type of thing. Um, but it's so like meant to be for this time, you know, for right now. Looking at present energy working on things in the 3D, moving forward with the Eight of Cups and the Prince of Discs, looking to the future, Seven of Wands, 
he also feels, you know, okay, so what I like about this is, um, initially when she came into this relationship, she felt like a deep sense of victory and validation. And I feel like the seven of wands is coming across like, he also feels that same way. Like that's a reciprocal feeling. Yes, with the queen of wands. Again, feeling feeling connected to uh, the, the depths of his emotion um, and how deeply he can feel for someone. The five of cups. It feels like liberation. Yeah, with the princess of discs, letting go. Letting go of things and people and relationships and connections that didn't work in the past and totally looking for new opportunities um, with Nina. Oh, and then the lovers at the bottom of the deck, the lovers face up. If you scroll back, the lovers, I believe, was in reverse for, and, and that doesn't always mean that like, there, someone is connected or not connected or whatever the reason is. Um, to me, it just speaks to how deep the soul connection is with these individuals. But previously, like with her first partner, I felt that it was like a push-pull dynamic, a twin flame dynamic, and they're sort of in separation. And so this sort of feels like, it felt to me like a soulmate connection that she has with Ian um, that is meant to come into her life to heal some things. And so overall... Miss Nina is right where she needs to be. If you enjoyed this reading, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You can connect with me at Official Chanez on TikTok and Instagram. And I will see you all next time.